Let's talk about the Do Better movement. How did this come about? So I started the Do Better movement back in 2018, and it came about, I was doing a lot of supervision at that time, again, like I mentioned, with people kind of all around the world. I was traveling a lot and doing trainings in different places, and I kept noticing the same themes coming up of skill sets that people, for whatever reason, whether it was their graduate training or their supervision or just maybe their practice in terms of the the populations they were serving, there were key aspects of behavior analysis and being effective uh, behavior analysts that they weren't learning. So I had this running list of all of these different trainings I wanted to create. And I had it, you know, the little notes section on, on Max. I had it just go in there. And I kept saying, I'm going to find time to make these trainings. I'm just going to make this happen someday. And I just kept putting it off. So finally, on Christmas of 2017, I was like, that's it. I don't know what it was. There must have been a Facebook post or something that I was just like, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I need to get something out there. So I wrote down um, on like red paper that I had, I wrote a whole list for the whole entire 2018, every week laid out, we'll talk about this topic each month um, was a different topic. And each week was a different activity. I was very ambitious about it. (laughs) Unfortunately, with my schedule with traveling and everything, we didn't get to do every activity each week. But we did it did at least that say do correspondence of I will present on these topics and we will have a webinar on these topics did happen. So we, uh, I created each of the, the presentations for 2018 on just different topics that I felt the field needed to be focusing on more to have uh, effective practice. And then for 2019, I invited people that were kind of up and coming that I had seen presenting at conferences to present their research or their practice that uh, areas of expertise. And for 2020, I did an open call and just had people sign up to present. So we've had two to four presentations every month in 2020. It kind of increased because of COVID. And it's been a lot more of a platform for kind of just practitioners to share with their peers and, and with others in society what work they're doing and what they're finding helpful for working with their clients. And it's trying to focus on areas that, again, we wouldn't necessarily have much exposure to in graduate school, either because when we were in graduate school, those weren't popular things to talk about, like um, at the time for me, at least ACT, acceptance and commitment therapy, or um, for whatever reason, the the graduate schools just don't focus on these areas. So the, the latest shift for 2021, we're kind of transitioning things. So we have the Do Better movement. We put out free webinars and other like podcasts and just as many resources as we can to help improve the practice of behavior analysis. But for 2020, we've been working on creating what we call the Do Better Collective, which is a community website. And in 2021, it will be an actual app that you can open on your phone. It's kind of similar to Facebook, but it's without all the drama, hopefully. And yeah. <laughs> so we have we have different topics and groups that people can join and have conversations about, just like you would on Facebook and you see the different threads that happen on Facebook, but in a way that has specific professional expectations. And that we even have a webinar for people to watch to give guidance on the ethical code and what we would hope people would do in behavior analysis based on the research in listening and learning from people. So we can help sort of shape and guide behavior analysts to being more collaborative and engaging in more perspective taking and empathy and compassion when we encounter different perspectives. There's Even within our own field, there are topics that come up like ACT where some behavior analysts are like, that's a bunch of hokey, you know, crap, like that's not, we, we don't do that. That's too, um, too much in the mind and not enough in the observable realm. And then you have other people who think it's the best thing ever and have tons of research and all that. So we can't even agree on certain things within our own field. But then outside of our field, there's tons of different worldviews. And if we want to disseminate our science, we need to be able to interact with people in a way that's not bullying or, you know, too aggressive and assertive over my view is better than your view. 
which I was trained in graduate school that behavior analysis is the only view. That's the best view. And you just need to get everyone on your side, right? I don't know. Because we're going to save the world. Right. Yeah. So, um, so the only way that we can help connect with people and really even look at what environments exist, and of course, you know this from the work you've done in different countries as well, We have to work within the environment we're given, not try to force the environment around ourselves, right? So um, Molly always says, do with, not for, right? So we have to work with the the people that we're we're supposed to be working with, not try to force them to accept and adopt our way of thinking. So, um, So that's kind of our big shift for 2021. We have it in beta testing right now, and we're really excited to see where things go. We're obviously gonna continue creating free content and professional development and all of that with the Do Better movement. But the Do Better Collective is like the next level. That is so exciting. We are very excited. (laughs) Yeah. And it's so important. It's so relevant right now. Yes. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you. So let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.